Are you thinking of buying your first telescope or are you planning to gift a telescope to someone? Buying your first telescope is exciting. But before you dive into the world of stargazing, you need to know one most important thing. Never buy a telescope without doing a proper research and never buy a telescope from department stores. Always buy telescope from authentic astronomy instrument sellers whether it is online or offline. Online you can find dedicated astronomy instrument sellers like High Point Scientific or even if you buy from Amazon make sure that you are buying from particular brands authentic official store on Amazon. Why I am saying this because astronomy is expensive hobby and buying a random telescope from department store that means you fell for the clever marketing gimmick. You have probably seen those telescopes in the stores with boxes featuring stunning images of galaxy and planets. The truth is those images are never taken with that telescope. Those telescopes are not capable of taking such images and they are the worst quality telescopes you will ever buy. If you buy such telescope then that telescope will be collecting dust in the corner of your house instead of inspiring you to explore the night sky. Investing in good telescope will not only save you money in the long run but it will also give you good rewarding experience. With the right telescope you will be motivated enough to use it frequently and explore the night sky. Remember the best telescope is the one which you use often doesn't matter how expensive it is even if the cheaper one you use it often that's the best telescope this is important because there is not a single telescope which can do it all that's why the first step of buying a telescope is knowing what you want to do with your telescope are you fascinated by the moon or the planets like the craters on the moon or the rings of saturn Maybe you are inspired by those beautiful photos of deep space objects you see on Instagram and you want to capture something like that by yourself. This brings us to the two main ways of enjoying astronomy. First one is visual astronomy and second is astrophotography. Visual astronomy is all about observing the celestial object directly through your telescope. It is the easiest way to start. Just set up your telescope, point it at the night sky and enjoy the views of moon, planets and some bright deep space objects as well. On the other hand, astrophotography is capturing those objects with the camera and the dedicated astrophotography is more advanced and you need equipments like tracking mount. Astrophotography is very rewarding but it will take time, patience and more practice. So for the beginners, visual astronomy is the best way to get started. It is simple and budget friendly. The most important thing for beginners is to learn about night sky such as learning about constellations, identifying planets and recognizing major stars. By observing the celestial objects through your telescope, you will gradually become familiar with the night sky and you will also know how night sky changes with the time. Visual astronomy will not only sharpen your observational skills but it will also build the foundation for next advanced stuff like astrophotography. Once you are comfortable, then you can decide whether astrophotography is the next step for you or not. So in this video, I will guide you through best telescope for beginners. I will go in the order from cheaper to more expensive telescopes. Whether you are on a tight budget or a medium budget or the budget is not at all issue with you, you will find a good option among these few telescopes. That being said, let's begin. The first telescope on the list is Celestron StarSense 114LT telescope. This is a reflector type telescope and I personally own this telescope. This is StarSense 114LT telescope. This is the cheapest telescope you can buy which offer great value for your money. The aperture of this telescope is about 114mm around 4.5 inches. 
and the focal length of this telescope is 650 mm which will give you wide field view of the night sky. It is a very beginner friendly telescope and very easy to set up. You can see moon and planets like Jupiter and Saturn with this telescope. This is a manual telescope but it comes with a star sense technology so it is easier for beginners to navigate through the night sky. This telescope costs around $200 and I think $200 should be your minimum budget for your first telescope. Any telescope which will cost less than $200 will not be that good. I reviewed this telescope on my channel and you can watch the full review of this telescope in this video. The second telescope is the tabletop Dobsonian telescope. Usually Dobsonian telescopes are heavy and it is difficult to move them often. The tabletop Dobsonian telescope is the compact version of these big Dobsonian telescopes. It is designed to be placed on a flat surface or a table or some sturdy surface. Dobsonians are the reflector type telescopes and if you don't know what the different types of telescopes are then you should watch this video. These telescopes do not need any complicated alignment or setup. Just put the telescope on the table or sturdy surface and set up the red dot finder in the beginning for the first time and that's it. You can start pointing your telescope at your favorite target and start observing. Tabletop telescope comes in aperture sizes from 80mm to 150mm. Many telescope brands like Skywatcher, Zumel, Orion and Celestron sell these tabletop Dobsonian telescopes. I think the good choice for tabletop Dobsonian is anything which is above 100 mm of aperture which is more than 4 inches of aperture. If you go with the 130 mm aperture then you can get the best value for your money. You can buy the tabletop Dobsonian telescope from any of the brands I mentioned but if I had to choose I would go with Skywatcher 130p flex tube tabletop Dobsonian telescope. It has an aperture of 5 inches. And my second choice would be Celestron because it comes with a StarSense technology. StarSense makes it easier to navigate through the night sky. For beginners, it will be easier with StarSense to learn about night sky. But StarSense comes with a cost because Celestron telescope among these telescopes is a little bit expensive. Skywatcher and other telescope among these telescopes will cost you a little more than $200. The third telescope is the Celestron Nexstar SLT 130mm telescope. This is a reflector type computerized telescope. This telescope has an aperture of 5 inches and focal length of 650mm which will give you the wide field view of the night sky. The telescope has the best optics as it comes from the Nexstar series of telescopes from the Celestron. The Nexstar series telescope from Celestron has better mirror and lenses than other series of telescopes from the Celestron. As this telescope has a 5 inch aperture, you can see the moon, planets and some bright deep space objects. This telescope has a single 4 computerized alt azimuth mount which has a data of 4000 celestial objects. You can just type the name of the object and the telescope will move to that object. That is the benefit of go to telescopes. The telescope can also do tracking of a celestial object which is important for astrophotography. As it is an alt azimuth mount, it has some tracking limitation. But with its tracking abilities, you can surely test the waters of astrophotography with this telescope. In the StarSense series, there is also a similar telescope which is StarSense 130mm DX. The optical tube of StarSense and this telescope is similar but the StarSense one is a manual telescope and it will cost you a little more than $400. In this Celestron Nexstar SLT 130mm telescope will cost you somewhere between $500 to $650. Overall, it is a good telescope if you are looking for a telescope which is portable, has a go-to abilities and is not heavy on your pocket. And this telescope will give you the best of both worlds of visual astronomy and astro photography. The fourth telescope on the list is 8-inch Dobsonian. 
The Dobsonian telescopes are the best value for money telescopes. These telescopes offer you biggest aperture for its price than any other type of telescopes. The biggest drawback of these Dobsonian telescopes is its weight. These telescopes are heavier and moving them often is very difficult and the bigger the aperture the heavier is the telescope. So if you know your telescope will be sitting in your backyard and you will not be moving it quite often then you should consider buying an 8 inch or a bigger aperture Dobsonian telescope. If you live in an area which is below class 4 bottle then this telescope will show you the amazing views of the night sky with its big aperture power. The objects will look much sharper and better with this telescope and its aperture power. By the way, bottle scale measures the amount of light pollution in your area. If you don't know what a bottle scale is, then you should check out this video. Usually the weight of an 8 inch Dobsonian is around 20 kg, of which 10 kg is of the optical tube assembly and 10 kg is of the Dobsonian mount. If weight and portability is not an issue for you, then this telescope will give you the best value for your money. You can also go with the 6 inch version of this telescope but the 6 inch version you can also get in the tabletop version and it will cost you a little bit less. The 8 inch version of this telescope will cost you minimum $500 and maximum $800. There are many brand options available in the Dobsonian telescope such as Apertura, Orion, Skywatcher and Celestron. You can also buy the Trust Tube Dobsonian Telescope. It has a less weight compared to normal Dobsonian telescope and it can be made compact after its use. So it has a little bit more portability compared to normal Dobsonian telescopes. If you buy a classic Dobsonian telescope which is a closed tube Dobsonian then it will cost you less but if you go with the Trust Tube Dobsonian then it will cost you a little bit more. One thing I want to mention, if you buy the Trust Tube Dobsonian Telescope, then never use your telescope to look at the sun. What happens in closed tube Dobsonian Telescope or any closed tube telescope, you can use a sun filter which will cover the aperture of your telescope. But Trust Tube Dobsonians are open tube telescopes. So even if you have a solar filter, the stray sunlight can bypass solar filter and enter through the open area of your open tube telescope. It will reflect off the primary mirror and it will come on the eyepiece. It will be unsafe and can damage your eyes. So if you buy a trust tube Dobsonian telescope or open tube Dobsonian telescope or any open tube telescope, do not use it for looking at sun even with the solar filter. With normal telescope with solar filter you have to be cautious then this with this telescope just don't do it. The fifth telescope is the Celestra Nexstar 8SE telescope. This is the most popular telescope from Celestron's orange tube Nexstar series of telescopes. It is a Schmidt Cassegrain type telescope and it is very beginner friendly and very easy to set up. This telescope has an aperture of 200 mm and focal length of 2032 mm. Because of its longer focal length, you can see the objects in much more detail with this telescope and it also has an 8 inch aperture that is a big aperture which collects lot of light. As this is a Schmidt Cassegrain telescope, this telescope do not have much weight and you can easily carry this telescope to a dark sky locations. So if portability is huge for you and you want a telescope which is bigger and has a better aperture and has a go to abilities then this is the telescope you can go for. The telescope has a single 4 computerized alt azimuth mount which has a data of 40,000 celestial objects. You can type any object and the telescope will go move to that object and you can enjoy the views through this telescope. This telescope will cost you more than $1200 and as a beginner if you are sure pursuing this hobby for long term then this telescope will not disappoint you. You can watch the full review of this telescope in this video. I personally own this telescope. This is my Nexstar 8 SE telescope and I love it.
it's awesome and i will recommend this telescope to everyone who has a higher budget and know that they will pursue this hobby for long term this telescope will easily last you for 8 to 10 years if you want a smaller version of this telescope then you can go with the 6 inch version of nexstar 6s e telescope everything is same in 6 inch and 8 inch version of these two telescopes including the mount the mount of both the telescopes is same the only difference is the aperture size you can check out the comparison between nexstar 6sc and 8sc in this video and in future if you get more serious with astronomy then if you want to do astrophotography with this telescope then you can buy a uh, equatorial wedge or if you buy a good equatorial mount in future then you can use this telescope for astrophotography as well but going with the wedge is a cheaper way to start your astrophotography with this telescope so if you have a higher budget and want a telescope which will last you for long time then nexstar 6sc or 8sc is a good choice you will not regret buying this telescope now if you want to buy something else from the telescopes i mentioned and wants to do your own research then one thing i will tell you to keep in mind that as a beginner avoid any telescope which comes with equatorial mount or when you see eq mount avoid those beginner telescope equatorial mounts are good and eventually you will want to use the equatorial mount when you get advanced in the astronomy stuff but as a beginner you should avoid equatorial mount telescopes because they are complicated to use and as a beginner it might frustrate you and discourage you from pursuing this hobby also the cheaper telescope which comes with equatorial mount the equatorial mount of those telescopes is not that good and do not offer you much stability and smooth tracking even if you get motorized version of equatorial mount the tracking will not be that good so as a beginner avoid buying equatorial mount telescopes links to the all the telescopes i mentioned in this video is in the description and if you want to learn more about astronomy and the basic concepts of telescopes like aperture field of view focal length eyepieces then please check out this playlist i have covered all these topics in this playlist and watch this playlist couple of times so that you never forget the basic concepts of telescope i hope you found this video helpful if you found this video helpful then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content and share this video with someone who is interested in astronomy and stargazing and i will see you in the next video bye